I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from ManhattanNews.com. So who is the Camellia that Chris Allen thanks in the title of his new album, Thank You Camellia? It's a street, not a person. Allen crashed on the couch of friends when making the album and they live on Camellia Street. Allen says it was a better feeling than staying at a hotel or renting an apartment. It's Allen's second album and he feels that this one represents him better than his debut. He says he had just four months to make that album after winning American Idol, but he had two and a half years to make Thank You Camellia. Well, you know, it's quite a party when Elton John and Paul McCartney play for a celebration of 60 years on the job. They perform Monday in London at a concert marking Queen Elizabeth 60 years on the British throne. The concert also included Annie Lennox, Jesse J, Tom Jones, and Cliff Richard, even Shirley Basie. Well, her friend, Rodney Cowell, predicted it once Shaley Wright came out as a lesbian two years ago. Crawl predicted that she wouldn't be rejected with fire and brimstone, but with silence. He said the industry would freeze her out. And Wright tells CBS this morning that that's exactly what happened. She hasn't been invited to one award show or been asked to be on the committee for the Country Music Hall of Fame, things that she got to do before she came out. She says she hopes a big country star comes forward to say they believe in equality like Jay-Z did for the rap community. Well, it doesn't sound like Julianne Huff will be following up on her country music career anytime soon. She tells Interview Magazine her singing and dancing on Dancing with the Stars gave her the confidence to act. She says no matter what else she was doing, her intention was always making her way over to film. She'll appear in Rock of Ages with Tom Cruise, and it's just been announced that she'll be in the next Nicholas Sparks romantic movie, Safe Haven, with Josh Dumau. In local entertainment news, Opus 40 presents a play about art, tradition, and self-discovery called The Rocklands. It's written by Tad Richards. It's based on a story by Harvey Fite with music and dance. It's June 9th at 6.30 and June 10th at 3 and 6.30. Opus 40 is on Fight Road on, in Saugerties. And for more information, you can log on to opus40.org. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.